And that pursuit it was the uh, Calhoun County Sheriff's Office, Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office, and Highway Patrol. Um, he came off of I-26 at exit 145 and took several uh, back roads here in Orangeburg County trying to uh, elude the deputies, uh, which he ended up back on uh, 601. And I think well, he was well familiar with the area. You know, back on 601, back to uh, Roosevelt Gardens. At that time at Roosevelt Gardens, our deputies blocked him in, and uh, so he wouldn't escape. It was a uh, accident at that time where the deputies collided with um, Mr. Green, um, and he was apprehended at that time. At the time of his uh, apprehension, our deputies uh, did sustain the injury, which he had to go be treated at the hospital. And also, uh, Mr. Green had in the vehicle with him uh, a 380, a weapon that we're still uh, running numbers on to find out exactly was it stolen or uh, anything. He also had uh, a ski mask with him at the time of the arrest. I know one of the questions might be, um, was Mr. Green here in Orangeburg? Do we think he was here in Orangeburg County? Actually, I, don't, I really don't think he was here in Orangeburg County the whole time. I believe that from uh, all law enforcement and all the pressure that we uh, was putting on Mr. Green uh, from here in South Carolina, uh, we looked places in Florida and definitely in New York. And um, I know you say a lot of people in New York, how can you flush them out of New York? There are also a lot of police officers in New York. So, but at this time, we're still checking to see um, from the time that he jumped the fence here in Orangeburg on uh, May the 19th, we want to track every step that he made. And at this time, as we speak, in fact, we have investigators out right now um, still investigating on this case. So again, they, like I told you before, there could be other arrests made on not only people that helped uh, doing the escape, but people that helped Mr. Green when he was on the run. Was he accused of stealing these two cars we're talking about today or carjacking? One of the cars was actually the from the city, carjacked. and he was carjacked, um, the individual in the city. Um, yeah. we, we've got numerous charges uh, on him also. Carjacking, sir? We've actually, we've got, um, he'll be charged with carjacking, failure to stop for a blue light second offense, pointing him as in a firearm, two counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a violent crime and attempted armed robbery. So it was by sheer luck while you were checking out this one car he drove by in the other one? You could say that. Good luck. <laughs> and after, you have to realize also after we had made contact with this individual in the city and he um, believed that that was definitely uh, green, um, you know, every everything kind of went up at that point and um, so it was just a little bit more tension than usual. Uh, you mentioned as, an officer being hurt. Uh, with yes, sir. His condition. Uh, can you explain? I could just tell you that he hurt his um, his knee, and at this point, I'm not sure what uh, you know what the severity of the injury. Was that but he was transported to um, the hospital. Is that from an assault by Green, or just kind of chasing him down, or chasing him down? Got you. I think um, you believe he was in Orangeburg, or you don't believe he was in Orangeburg? I don't believe that he was in Orangeburg the whole time. No, sir, I don't. What is the status of the carjacking victim? It's, we're still in the investigation. Um, we, the city, looked to bring about charges. Carjacking, possibly robbery, and kidnapping. But, um, you know, like I told you all before, you know, we weren't going to sleep, and I know he wasn't sleeping. He was asleep tonight, but I know he wasn't sleeping before, and then we'll get some, a little bit of sleep tonight, but... You know, when we, um, when, when he's out there and we know the kind of individual that we're dealing with, you know, it, it's all hands off. You know, we, got, we have to go at him, and we did. And for some reason, he was um, spooked this morning and he jumped up and we got him.